Welcome to Cocos 2D Tutorials, brought to you by Bob Euland. For more information, go to bobeuland.com slash Cocos2D. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about Touch Dispatcher secrets. A Touch Dispatcher has a list of objects that it can send touch events to. When the user touches the screen, the dispatcher will take the first object in its list and send the CC touch began message to it. Now that object can answer in two ways, with a yes or with a no. A no means that the object does not claim the touch. In that case, the dispatcher will take the next object in its list and send it the CC touch began message. If it also answers no, it will continue to the third object that also might say no and so on. But what happens if one of the objects answers yes? Yes means that the object is claiming the touch. So touch dispatcher will mark this object in some way. In practice, an object will not answer just a yes or no. In practice, it will answer yes if some condition is met, for instance, that the user touched the object itself. Otherwise, it will answer no. Suppose now that it answered yes, and that the dispatcher has marked that object as the one claiming the touch. If the user now moves his finger across the screen, the dispatcher will look in its list, see the object that claimed the touch, and it will send a CC touch moved object to it. No other objects will ever receive that message. The same goes for CC touch ended. OK, so that is how it works. But one question remains. How do we get the objects in the dispatcher list to begin with? Suppose that you have an empty dispatcher list and that you have an object that you want to put in that list. To do that, you have to do two things. The first is to tell that this object conforms to the CC targeted touch delegate protocol. The second is to send the add targeted delegate message to the dispatcher. Along with this message, we will send the object that we want to add as one parameter. When the dispatcher receives this message, it will put the object in its list. Let's go to Xcode and see how this is done. We are inside Xcode. We will start where we left off in the Object Composition tutorial. As you remember, in our Hello World layer, we scheduled a call to the fire method once each second. And there we created a missile object. And after three missiles, we unscheduled the calls. In our missile.h, we had two instance variables, one to my sprite and one to my layer. In the missile.m, we added ourselves to the hello world layer, and then we created a sprite and moved it across the screen. Let's see how that works. We have three missiles moving across the screen and nothing more happens. Go back to Xcode. Our task is to make our missile objects
touch sensitive. And let them handle. their own touches. And our plan is to use CC Touch Dispatcher and CC Targeted Touch Delegate. Let's go to the documentation and look at the CC Touch Dispatcher. We see that we can get hold of the dispatcher by sending shared dispatcher method to the class. It's 23 hours. But once we have it, we can use this method, add targeted delegate to add a missile object as a target and we want to do it immediately when the missile object is added to the layer and when the missile object is removed from the layer we can use this method remove delegate to remove the missile object from the dispatcher Let's also look at uh, CC Targeted Touch Delegate, which is a protocol, and all objects conforming to this protocol can implement these four methods. Let's look at the detailed description. Using this type of delegate results in two benefits. One, you don't need to deal with NS sets. The dispatcher does the job of splitting them. You get exactly one UI touch per call. Two, you can claim a UI touch by returning yes in CC touch began. Updates of claimed touches or sent only to the delegate that claimed them. So if you get a move ended or cancelled update, you're sure it's your touch. And as you can see here, CC touch began must be present while these three are optional. Observe also that CC touch began returns a Boolean value. Yes claims the touch. Let's go back to Xcode. We can go to missile.m. Each time we add a child node to a parent node, the child node receives an on enter message from the system. And each time it is removed from the parent node, it receives an on exit message from the system. It works similarly to the init and the alloc messages. So let's copy the alloc and change the alloc to enter and also for on exit observe that you must have these calls to the super Otherwise, it won't work. We are essentially trapping a system call and passing it on. 
Let's log something to the console to see if it works. Let's run and see what happens. Console clear run. Each time a missile is added to the layer, the enter message is sent. However, we do not see any on exit message. That is to be expected, since we are not removing the missile object from the layer. Go back. When should the missiles be removed? Well, just after the move action has finished. Let's paste some code. Here we have introduced a callback action with a selector called remove me. And here we run a sequenced action first move, and then the callback which invokes remove me. Let's introduce remove me method. And in the remove me method, we are removing ourselves from the parent. Let's now see if the on exit works. Console, clear, run. On enter works and on exit works. Let's go back to Xcode. What do we want to do when we get on enter? we want to add ourselves to the dispatcher. First we create it, cc touch dispatcher, shared dispatcher, and we want to add ourselves, add targeted delegate, self, Priority, let's set it to zero and swallows touches to yes. Similarly, on exit, CC touch dispatcher, shared dispatcher, and this time we want remove delegate self. That was the first part. In the second part, we want to actually trap the touches. Let's go to the interface missile.h and tell that we want to conform to the CC targeted touch delegate. Now we can go back to the implementation. We must write CC touch began. The others were optional. Boolean CC touch began. Like that. Let's begin by just log that we are catching a touch. and return yes, since this method returns a boolean. Console clear run. Click inside, click outside. You can see that we are catching both inside and outside touches. 
It is interesting to see what happens when we write no. Console, clear, run. Wait until all three missiles are visible. Click. And as you can see, three touches are detected. Go back to Xcode. This happened because no means that no missile claimed the touch. So dispatcher continues to send CC touch began to all objects in its list. So let's change this back to yes. What we want to do is to detect if the touch is outside the missile, then return no. Otherwise, do something and then return yes. Let's save some time but pasting some code. As you can see, we are testing if the rectangle R contains point P, where rectangle R is our sprite's texture rect, and the point P is the touch location. So, we are essentially testing if the touch is inside our missile. And if so, return yes, otherwise no. And here we are using that method. Let's check this out. Console, clear, run. Touch inside, a touch is logged. Touch outside nothing happens, proving that this works. Let's go back and change this log to something more interesting. Self, remove me, which we wrote earlier, run, When we touch a missile, it is removed from the screen. Thank you for watching.